Then for the valve side, this is your drain port right here. And again, we'll go ahead and just put this hose clamp up here. And again, we want to verify that our valve is in bypass mode. What this does is your inlet water comes in through the valve and out. It does not go into the tank in the bypass mode. And I should uh, mention right now, if you have any other systems in line, uh, water softeners, other filters, uh, sediment filters, you want, you want to place all of those in the bypass mode as, you're, uh, as we go ahead and bring water up into the system. Uh, you're going to initially have some residue out of here from when we back flush and it will get into your other systems if you don't. So you don't want to have any water going to the house right now and you don't want to have any water going into any other system. So you want to bypass or isolate those systems off. Okay, we're going to go ahead and power up our unit. We're uh, first of all going to remove the dust cover. You do this by, there's a tab in the front and the back. You just kind of separate those gently and you'll, your dust cover will pop off. And then we're going to go ahead and plug in our power adapter. There's three ports here. You're going to plug it into the P for power. It's the one uh, towards the outside edge. And we'll go ahead and plug our unit in. Okay, so we've got our carbon system uh, media put in. We're all plumbed up. Our drain's plumbed up. And now we're going to go ahead and program the valve. Um, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and set the time, the correct time. So to do that, you're going to press the menu enter button and you'll see the time flash and go ahead and hit set change and that's going to give you your first digit and then you can go ahead and change the numbers there when you want to go to the next digit hit menu enter again and we'll just go ahead and set it for say 11 o'clock we'll go again and we'll go ahead and say it's 11 o'clock we'll set it for that okay then you hit menu enter one more time and it's going to go p.m. or a.m. so if it's a.m. we'll go ahead and change it to a.m. hit the menu enter again okay this is a this is your days between backwash cycles uh, what we recommend for the carbon systems is to set that at six that's six days between now ideally then you go ahead and set that and it'll go back to the time um, <clears throat> ideally uh, you, you don't want to go a differential pressure across the media, across the valve, more than 8 PSI. Um, so you definitely want to don't, you definitely could go more, depends on the quality of water, depends on how many, the volume of water you use, how many people are using it. Um, but we recommend uh, six days to do that. Um, okay, now you see that it's gone back and it's in service mode, just flashing between the time and the days left for regen. Okay, so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go ahead and master, go into the master programming, and we're going to want to set the regeneration times. So in order to get into the master uh, menu, what you want to do is hold the menu enter and set change button both at the same time. And this usually takes a few seconds. Okay, so now we're in the regeneration. So this is the time the regeneration or backwash occurs. So we recommend uh, 2 a.m. Uh, one thing to note, if you have softeners or other filters, you want to make sure the regeneration times are staggered. You don't want them all regenerating at the same time. So if you want to change that, go ahead and set the set change button. And there again, you can go uh, a.m. or p.m. Uh, you come over to your menu, goes to the next digit. You can go 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m. Like I said, we recommend 2 a.m. So we'll get it back around to 2 a.m. Hit the menu enter again. Everything's flashing, so you're all set. So then you hit menu enter one more time, and you go into cycle one. This is your backwash. So again, we recommend 10 minutes for the backwash cycles. There again, you can hit the set change button and go through and change that. Um, so then you go into menu enter again. That's step number two. That's your rest period. For carbon filter systems, we recommend five minutes. Hit menu, enter again. This is sequence three. This is your rapid rinse. So in the backwash, basically the water goes down through the media and back up through the tube. 
uh, the wrap, excuse me, the backwash goes through the tube and it lifts the media up and comes back through the media. The rapid rinse goes the opposite direction. It goes in the direction of the service where the water comes through the media then back up the tube. Okay, so you want this set for six minutes. And that is set, so we'll just leave that there, go through. Okay, Bluetooth, and Bluetooth enabled, number one, so that means your Bluetooth app is uh, enabled, and I'll show you that in a second. And this is uh, your, uh, where you can set a password, so you, you can, somebody else can't come in here and mess with it, just you can mess with it. Okay, so now we're back menu enter again, we're back into service mode where it flashes back and forth between the days left for the regen and the time. So in the Apple Store or uh, Google app, depending on which phone you have, you can download the Legacy app. And this is called Legacy View. And as you can see here, there's just a little app that you can pop on there. Go ahead and hit the Legacy View. And right there, it just found our filter. We click on that. So this is a nice little dashboard. It shows you the time of day. Uh, the battery percentage left, days backwash, regen time. You can also go into advanced settings here and you can set your cycle position times here using this. And this is basically the same way you just click on it and ask it, put in the number and say OK and it'll set your valve that way as well. So uh, as you can see on the dashboard right now, It's uh, the time of day is set at 11:04, but actually it's later than that. So what I'm going to do is show you how to set that set time. It'll automatically set it to your phone. Hit OK, and see it's 2:08, and it has now reset the clock to 2:08.